Welcome back everyone to another product review at Roofing Insights. My name is Dmitry Lipinski, your host. Today I'm going to be talking about products from my friends at Stinger Staple Pack and Stinger Nail Guns, Staple Guns. And uh, big disclaimer, not sponsored by them. They did send us a couple nail guns recently. Uh, we've been installing them for years now. But I want to actually answer a bigger question. And the question is, should you be stapling or um, cap nailing synthetic felt paper because this is the future actually it's uh, it's a roofer's life right now this is probably the most popular product and uh, i want to talk about that controversial topic because a lot of old school guys still want to staple everything and uh, i'm a big believer of uh, cap nails so this is the topic today thank you so much for coming <music> A couple of weeks ago, we published a video here at Roofing Insights, how to install a roof in 2018. We pretty much went through all components, you know, starters, hip and reach shingles, accessories like synthetic felt papers. And I know that uh, we already got a couple comments. Uh, they weren't super mean, but they were in line with, if we've been doing this for years, why change now? Our roofs don't leak, blah, blah, blah. And, the point of it is, no matter how good you are in anything, you have to improve. Uh, and if any roofer out there tells me, Dimitri, we've been doing it for 30 years, why we should change something, why we should switch to this, why we should switch to this, we've been you know, hand nailing or whatever, and I get the point, but if you don't adapt to technology, if you're not trying to educate yourself, you know, buy new, newest tools out there, buy newest accessories, uh, trying to educate your crews on newest ways to install because everything has changed. Um, changes. I've noticed that people who've been in the industry for longest, those are the people who cannot even pass the test. I remember being um, at Vinyl Siding Institute test and there was a siding guys who trying to uh, pass for vinyl VCI um, certification and they couldn't. They've been doing it for too long. Somebody teach them 10 years ago and now manufacturers saying this is the way we want to do it and they still wouldn't do it. So here's, here's the thing about synthetic felt paper. I know a lot of roofers out there want to staple it. Fine, fine by me. If you roofing the same day, you can do it. Manufacturer instruction will say that it's possible. I personally believe that cap nails is the best way to fasten uh, synthetic underlayment down. Now it can be staples, no problem. If that would be my choice on every single job, I would definitely put cap nails. But here's the deal, it's not about me, it's not about my opinion. You have a customer so you, that you need to impress. Yesterday we sold pretty big job, it was about 15 buildings. We met with a 15 home, actually more than that, it's town home. So it was like about 20 people crowd and we have to pitch them. And they're all um, retired community, so like 60 years plus. And I remember answering like, question after question after question, do you install three taps? What underlayment do you do? Do you use staples? Do you use nails and stuff like that? And I remember we gave them a piece of uh, synthetic felt paper and I see these homeowners going in, trying to rip it apart and they couldn't. You would never think that somebody would be impressed, especially right now, it's been around for like 10 years. It's not impressive product. Today, it was maybe 10 years ago, there is like, you know, hundreds of brands if you go to any expo. So this is popular product, but this is impressive. You know what else is impressive? This is. So my point about guys like Stinger, and I don't like to uh, review nail guns because there's so many of them, but Stinger actually is leader in this space. You can buy it on Amazon. I'm gonna make sure to include uh, links below. But Stinger is a kind of pioneer, one of the first big players. We love Stinger guns. Started like this, I don't recommend this anymore. As a matter of fact, Stinger don't recommend this anymore because it slows you down. But if you go to pneumatic with the air guns, those are super fast, super efficient. It will cost you a little bit more money. But let me tell you this, two points. Number one, it will get you more jobs. Number two, it will not get you more jobs. Let me explain. I will be stupidest person on earth if I say using guns and technology like this will get you more jobs. But at the same time, I'll be arrogant and idiot if I say it's not going to cost you more jobs. You will never know because you will never be able to track it. The point I'm trying to make, guys, is you never know what's going to impress your homeowner. I've been on so many appointments, so many jobs, and with one homeowner, you 
you can impress them with a you know logo design on your shirt just how you look or what you drive with another person it's how you install it and your presentation if you build the roof in front of them they'll be like oh wow you're the only person who did it everybody is different one person will buy from you just because you told them you're gonna use a cap nails it's not a report you can run from your CRM like how did you hear about us and where the lead come from whether it's referral or whether it's Google pay-per-click this is something that goes on a very personal level it's something goes with your personality if you have installer background and you care what you actually do on the roof and you're trying to be the best of the best this will be impressive and i would use it in my arsenal to even sell the job can i guarantee you that you will sell jobs because you use stinger guns probably not but guess what if you want to be the best of the best you have to use stinger guns you have to use latest technology and you have to be best of the best because guess what if you're not if you're going to try to convince homeowner that staples are okay guy like me going to come behind you and make you look irrelevant i'm going to say hey let's read the manufacturing install in installation i want to do what's the best cap nails always going to beat staples that's why i do what i do i'm going to use um, cap nails can I do staples absolutely but for me that's card and corners that's not being the best again I know it's gonna be uh, commented I know some of you will strongly disagree with with me and some of you will think that you can even use roofing nails for synthetic file paper fine I just want to make sure I do the best job ever I have the best presentations ever and things like stinger guns helps me to do that let me know what you think in comments below. If you're an installer, you're using them, let me know how do you like them. And if you're a salesperson and maybe your company does it, let me know if you ever have comment or compliment or maybe it help you to sell the job. I know just um, last week we've been in an apartment complex we just accomplished, uh, we just finished and my guys were using Stinger air guns. I was, I, even me, I was impressed how fast they were doing it because one of the first complaints that the roofers has about guns and cap nails is how slow it is. Well, if you're a fast roofer, you can even hand nail them fast enough. But I'm just telling you, this is the best of the best. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you do. And I hope to hear from you soon. I'll see you in the next product review soon. Our roofing tool reviews videos are the best in the industry. Subscribe below. Click the bell not to miss any future product reviews, you will not be sorry.